2012? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, come on. Well, listen, I guarantee you guys are all going to have a great, superbly great 2013. <laughs> all right. Big round of applause right now for Leslie Smalls. And okay, this next thing I say is going to sound a little hipster, but I don't mean for it to, but I was into bacon before they were putting it in milkshakes. You know why? Because it goes in everything. Fucking everything. I buttered toast with it the other day, you guys. It was magical. You know, I ran out of perfume about a week ago, okay? And I could not go to work smelling like weed again because I'm a lady, right? So I took a little bit of bacon grease. Not a lot. Nothing insane. You know? Just a little bit behind the ears. Boom. I had a fat guy lick my neck on the bus. <laughs> Pretty sure it wasn't sexual, he was just hungry. Uh, and I got my evil wheels turning, and I was like, oh man, guys, why aren't you masturbating with bacon grease? <laughs> right? I, I feel silly too, because it's like it's been in front of us this whole time. You know? And if you regularly seasoned your sweet, sweet man meat with the deliciousness of bacon fat, right? On the regular, you think that it would develop a certain scent, perhaps even a flavor? I'm just saying, like, maybe you're making out with your girl, right? And she starts that fanciful journey to south, where you're like, oh yeah, I know what's gonna happen. And she's like, wait a minute, is your dick bacon scented? <laughs> no, 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 no. No? I was coming out here to do comedy, and I told my grandfather, I was like, hey, I'm going to San Francisco to do comedy today. He's like, okay, be careful, don't get repped. <laughs> what? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you know, you don't want to get repped up, maybe repped up. I was like, by the cops? Like, I'm pretty sure we're walking around, they're not just going to arrest any Asian dude out of nowhere unless I'm doing karate. He goes, no, no, no. <laughs> he said, no, 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 maybe, sir, maybe he did this, I'm on this shit. <laughs> rep, you know, I was like, rap battle? Like, rap battle me in the street, like, rap, I got bars, you don't know. And he goes, no, no, no. He finally had to show me, he grabbed a chair and he finally showed me, he's like, you know, it's, uh, maybe it's... <laughs> maybe it's... <laughs> I said, oh, you mean raped. Uh, I will not get raped, Grandpa. I have my whistle, it's okay. <sighs> A homeless gentleman uh, said I looked like a lesbian the other day, so that's kind of what's going on in my world. What's going on with me? It's rough. I'm a Raiders fan, too, so that's just... Jesus! I didn't say I was a Raiders fan who burns an orphanage, I guess. God damn, that's... It's tough being a Raiders fan. It's like having an uncle in prison. And every year when he's about to get paroled, he just stabs his fucking parole officer. And fucks the stab wounds. Oh. Jesus. We were eight and eight. What the fuck happened? God damn it. You know, so I signed up for a Muay Thai kickboxing convention. Muay Thai kickboxing. And, uh, woo, yeah. Uh, well, a little thing you might not know about Muay Thai kickboxing is that, um, uh, it's fucking expensive. <laughs> Ninety dollars for headgear. $90 just to protect your head. Yeah, I was like, fuck that. I'd rather get punched in the head. I got five dollar copay. <laughs> So the way I'm seeing it, I'm coming like 85 bucks. <laughs> I just saw a study on weight loss. They just did this uh, scientific study, and they gave the first monkey a diet full of fruits and vegetables, and they gave the second monkey a diet full of fats and sugars. And the first monkey, you know, was like really lean and healthy, and the second monkey was hilarious, charismatic, had all kinds of friends, told the best stories. <laughs> Got all kinds of monkey pussy. I named my asshole Kanye West because I think it's 
important to name your body parts appropriately. I named my vagina USA because I think it's the best place on earth. <laughs> Even though nobody else does. It may not be employing enough men right now. You know, we may be suffering from a poor healthcare system. But God damn it, it's a melting pot and everyone is welcome. Everyone. But it's like recently I'm getting older and so my baby maker has just launched this massive propaganda campaign and it's this constant argument between brain and body and I'll be like, but I have some major personality defects I need to iron out and some goals I'd like to achieve before I give everything up for another person and it's like, you're never gonna do that. You need to create the person you wish to be. And I'm like, yeah, I think so lost cause, but I'm pretty sure my boyfriend has multiple personality disorder, and it's like, that's fine, it's fine. It takes a village to raise a child anyway. And I'm like, that's true, but maybe I should just get a dog, and it's like, no way, you're not responsible for that. I don't know, my pussy's right, I shouldn't have a dog. But, um, in order to outsmart my body, I got an IUD. And uh, that is a form of birth control that you can't take out by yourself. And when they were explaining to me how it works, they're like, you see, right now your uterus is like club med for sperm. But we're gonna put this thing in and it's gonna turn it into Auschwitz. <laughs> and I was like shocked that she thought the mention of Auschwitz would comfort me. Because I would much prefer a Nagasaki type scenario. Because there are some Auschwitz survivors, you know? And it only takes one. <laughs> Love I love being from the Bay, it's the best place in the world. I love the open-mindedness and it trips me out how different other places are. Like I was reading this news article the other day about this young man, he's a dude, uh, and what he did with his free time is he uh, was a cheerleader. All right? This is a young man who cheerleads. Right? Clear on this point, right? This is, a, this is a boy who chooses not to play sports, but instead sing and dance on the sideline while other boys play sports. And the article was about them kicking him off the cheerleading squad because they discovered he was gay. No. For real, San Francisco? I'm the only one that finds irony in that at all? I thought that shit was a prerequisite for being a male cheerleader to begin with, right? Like you walk into the audition room, they're like, can you sing, can you dance, do you like cock? Great, you're on the team. You know what, forget about the first two things. You people know how to dance. Have fun, Todd. Go get them. Go get them. <laughs>